Huh, that's pretty cool. I am here at the Whitby Curling Club and it is really, really hot. <laughs> Uh, much hotter than I was expecting. I'm going to step down because it's not slippery. So look at me on the ice in the summer. Uh, and I am here with proud members. Introduce yourselves, please. Hello, I'm Rob Phillips, president of the Whitby Curling Club. And I'm Angela Bernstein, the manager of the Whitby Curling Club. Thank you. Thank you for meeting with me. This is uh, a little quick chamber vignette. Uh, we are doing this with all of our members who identify themselves as being um, in the business of tourism in some form or another, and we thought it was important to highlight you at a very challenging time. It's tough for all businesses, but tourism's been closed. So we wanted to touch base and see how you were doing. Um, why is it warm in here right now? Because... Because it is summer. Yes. Um, and we did, uh, <laughs> we did shut down early. We started shut down uh, end of March, middle of March, We've missed all our curling closings and everything. No. Um, so yes, yeah, so we were hit by that with everybody else. And also, usually at this time, we, this would be used for fabulous cat shows and trade shows. <laughs> However, we have shut everything down uh, because right. of COVID. So we right. are, like you guys, getting through it. Um, and Angela is our excellent manager. She can tell you a little bit about what's going to happen, hopefully, from October when curling returns. Curling returns. What should people know about curling returning? Um, well, we do have hope that we'll be able to open in October. Yeah. And always the week before Thanksgiving, we offer a free learn to curl to anyone from the general public to come and try curling. Oh, very cool. Yeah. And it's free and a lot of people have not tried and they shouldn't be afraid. You were telling me that people can curl and you have people that curl from age eight to age? 90-ish. Wow. Very, very cool. And what is it that you're holding? These are the brooms you're going to use to sweep these rocks down the ice. Down the ice. And the curling. Mm-hmm. And the things that you're sweeping to move these, faster are? These are our world-famous rocks that will be used to score your points in these rings right here. Okay. So what would be a really a winning throw? Because you throw them from one end to the other. Where would the rock land and why would it be a winning throw? You're not going to believe this, but standing beside me is probably one of the best <laughs> curlers in our curling club. Woohoo! I can tell you exactly when she throws the rock ends up every time. Every where time. Where does it end? Every where does it end? My teammates might disagree, but yes. Shh, it's being home. immortalized on video. <laughs> this is the truth. <laughs> Well, okay. Aim for this circle. It's called the button. All right. It's in the middle of all the rings, and that is your ultimate goal: is to keep a rock there for your team. But aren't uh, the other teams trying to push it away? They are trying to knock it out. For sure. That's just terrible. Yeah. That's just terrible. <laughs> So you guys have been hit kind of hard because you didn't have your after parties after the end of all of this hard work. Um, your revenues are down. You've been closed for a while. We want to make sure that people remember that things like curling are here in our backyard. What should they remember? What, what are your parting thoughts in terms of a staycation? Yes. You, once they become, uh, come back to being reopened, mm -hmm. uh, this is a great place for families to come to, uh, because you've been locked down and uh, haven't been exercising or whatever, you need to come <laughs> back and get off that uh, COVID weight. <laughs> uh, curling, the family, the whole family can come down here and try it come October um, and it will bond you like no other experience. Very cool. Very cool. I can see you looking at my COVID weight. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Um, the mask requirement for indoors comes into effect on July 10th. And uh, I guess in the future, I will have to make sure when I'm indoors, which this is, uh, that we also do these interviews with a mask. Uh, Rob, I really appreciate you trying to fandangle one for, just for this video, but you did look like Darth Vader and I could not hear you. <laughs> so I'm glad we are uh, far enough apart that this is nice and safe. And I really appreciate you guys being members. Everyone, think about how amazing curling is. And back to this thing, which I found fascinating, it's how they determine who goes first check it out instead of flipping a coin you spin the wheel of surprise 